is a paid program. Views expressed on this program are not necessarily those of CBS Radio, its sponsors, or affiliates. Welcome to the Hardcore Mortgage Real Estate Business Show, brought to you by Capital Mortgage Funding. We have a whole panel here this morning. I'm Harvey Free. There's Harry Bland. Good morning, Harvey. Harvey. Hey, Harry, what's going hey, on? Hey, buddy. Well. Hey, Alex. What's happening, guys? We also brought in Dan Dubinsky from Skyward Realty, downtown Royal Oak on Washington. Hey, Dan, how's it going? Doing great. Good morning. Good morning, D. What's up? Boy, gorgeous day outside, October 15, 2016. Got Michigan State football coming up at 3.30 this afternoon. Keep it here on 97.1, the ticket all day long for sports and social commentary. But we are going to give you one hour of the Hardcore Mortgage Show. Always want to start off with mortgage rates as, would you believe it or not? Yeah, they bounced up a little bit. We're at a four-month oh, high don't, yesterday. Oh, you don't say. I don't say. Who's been, who's been saying that for years well, and years? Well, oh, boy. Higher. Don't give me credit. <laughs> right. I've been, I've been hey, I don't want to take any credit. It's, it's, that's just the bottom line. That's what's going to happen. I'm glad you brought that up, Harry. First thing, I, I'm sorry I was late for show prep today, but the bottom line is is that rates are going up and they will continue to go up. But and you know what's happening, guys? I fear this. We always think it's worse when they just go up suddenly. It's to me, it's worse when they continuously go up inch by inch. It's like a slow slowly, bleed. Slowly, and yeah. that's what's happening right now. They're going up slowly but surely. Okay, don't call me Shirley. How about, but yes, they how about are going up slowly but surely. Motivation to get it done right away. Well, it, you know, it's not a scare tactic. We don't use tactics like that. Here's the fact. The fact that the rate that you thought you were getting two weeks ago is not there anymore. Yeah. That's the fact. Yeah. Unless you want to pay for it, of yeah. course. The other fact is that there's not as many buyers out there right now. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I saw that too. Well, that is a fact. There aren't as many buyers out there. And another fact, I heard this. There are less listings now, too. Yeah, this is true. But I, I put an offer in a Birmingham home the other day. I was the only offer. Okay. Surprising. That's right? unique. Well, I, here, isn't that symptomatic, though, of the, of the month that we're in in Michigan and the weather's getting cooler? Mm -hmm. The kids are back in school. So you're going to have less buyers now, right? Without a doubt. You don't have the guys out there just looking at the tire kickers, the people that are thinking, eh, if I find something, I'll move, you know, and if I can sell mine, I'll sell it. The, the people who are doing stuff now really probably have to do something, tra transferring in from out of town, or they, they need to sell for some, some other reason. Yeah, but get right back to that rate issue here, okay? Yeah. So if you have less buyers and rates are going up, and why are you still, if you have to refi a house, you're not looking to buy a house, you want to refi your existing home, why aren't you doing something? To lower your rate, if you're at four and a quarter, if you're at four and three eighths, if you're at four and, and a half. And by the way, when you talk about why I'm doing it, doing it now, people are like, well, it'll be worth more next year. Where does it say that? What on what document did you you sign fifty thousand pieces of paper when you get a mortgage? What document does it say your house goes up every year? Yeah, we haven't seen value? that one. Well, you heard my speech. You hear it every year. I hear it every year. <laughs> where okay. does it say you get a raise every year? What does it say? Everybody, just because the calendar turns to January one, you're entitled to a raise, and just because the calendar turns from twelve thirty one to one one, that your house is going to okay. appreciate you, every year. God forbid, if rates are eight percent by the end of, by December thirty first, why can I walk into Harry's office on uh, January second and say, hey, I, dude, need I need a raise, man. Where's, where's, yeah. where's my uh, my my seven percent or whatever three percent living allowance increase. Here, here, I'll save I'll save you the trip seventy six days out. You're not getting a raise. I know. Well, you take a, you take a care of it. I'm <laughs> oh, not really thanks. worried about there it. Gentlemen, let me throw this out the there. Office. We are sponsored by, of course, Capital Mortgage Funding. We have a staff all weekend long. So if you want to get in and get that refinance started, your debt consolidation, definitely give us a call at 1-800-LOW-RATE, the best mortgage banker. Also here on the show, 248-539-9797. Of course, it was Janet Yellen's speech suggested the Fed might, well, they had a little bond sell-off. And, of course, long-term interest rates could bump up a little bit. We have seen some changes over the last week. Now, we've got lots to talk about this morning, whether it be debt consolidation, purchasing a house. Dan, new construction has ticked up 7%, they say, nationwide. We are seeing more and more homes being built. I say, look, dig the holes. If you're a builder out there, dig the holes, start building them. There are going to be a lot of buyers because the inventory, Dan, is just way down here in southeast Michigan. Yeah, you know, I, I travel to uh, uh, Lower Straits Lake on a regular basis. I have a little cottage out there, and for years, nothing but woods. Now we're seeing development down the M5 corridor uh, and even west of that. You're seeing more and more of these uh, lots turning into houses now. And, you know, it, it's, it, people love new houses. It's, you know, they, they love having the fact that nothing, it hasn't been lived in. They can pick their own colors. They can pick their floors. And it, it's that personal touch. Well, so, wouldn't you rather, if you could buy a house relatively for the same price, 
a brand new house as an existing house, what would you rather take? Without a doubt, new house all day long, right? Yeah. You know, but at the, at the end of the day, too, well, that's why that 203K thing is a great, great program because you've got a, uh, you can pick your colors. You can do those things to an old house in a great location. Yeah, I'm glad you actually brought that up. We're going to be talking next week in full detail next Saturday about uh, one of our conventional products that we have where you can purchase a house and get some additional money to fix it up. Now, we're going to release that next week, so keep it here on 97.1 for more information. Of course, those builders have been facing some really some challenges. Uh, getting high labor costs is really what's going on. There's a shortage of really qualified construction workers out there and hopefully more and more of our coming back and you know even here at on adam's show if you're if you're in that trade and you're a quality person definitely go check out some I'm, of these builders i'm not going to forget 2008 9 10 when i would have construction guys or contractors like oh, like, like knocking door to door saying hey can i fix your your you know this shingle looks like it's yeah. off an inch or can i clean your gutters where there was there was literally no work i'm going to remember when you guys tell me there's a six month wait and, and you want 10 but, times what it should cost those, to, you know those to, guys to, those guys to, all to, moved to out of my town porch. They, in 2009 and 10 they moved somewhere else with it was construction well alex what about appraisers charging 600 uh, 800 a thousand dollars for an appraisal now because everybody's I, so busy are we going to remember that in january yes, when it's not yeah, so busy uh, yeah we are okay. yes <laughs> and like by the way don't give me a due date and then tell me i've learned the appraiser that we're past the due date and it'll be in when we can get it in don't even give me a due date there's no point to it because there's no there's no repercussions from not being in on time hey it's just a market that's, awesome. that's economics 101, man. Supply I know. and demand. I mean, supply you know and demand. That. I know. Dude, we, I bought new, uh, new ceiling fans for our, our loft upstairs. Yeah. I, I, you would have thought that I was trying to, like, build a 7,000-square-foot addition. The, the amount of time people are like, oh, we can get there uh, we, 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 in March. I'm like, oh, all right. Yeah, that's about $150 probably to get someone out there to hang that. I don't, I don't care about how much it costs. I care that I, I can't get it done. Right. <laughs> right. You need the fan up. Uh, by the way, uh, 68% of those mortgages in the new construction world are making our conventional loans. 17.5% are FHA, 12.7% VA. What I'm telling you is, if you're an FHA buyer, most of the new construction builders here, again, there are uh, loan limits, $271.50. But most of the projects here across Southeast Michigan, these builders are offering FHA terms. They give you a 10-year warranty on the house. The, the homes are built at such, you know, unbelievable uh, to the uh, quality of uh, if energy efficiency and the specifications, all that stuff. But the energy efficiency of these homes uh, really uh, maintain, of course, would you rather buy a house that's 30 years old? FHA now can say, hey, this house is brand new. It's got all the qualities here. And, of course, you can get just about any mortgage on these projects. So give us a call, 248-539-9797. Here he dove into the appraisal talk, so we might as well talk about it. Of course, there was major changes back in 2007 and eight as the Dodd-Frank and the credit crisis jumped in, and then they developed a CFPB, which is the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. It changed how we actually order appraisals and how appraisals are done. Of course... Now these appraisers are mostly signed up with AMCs, appraisal management companies. And Harry, as you mentioned it, there is a lack of these appraisers out there. They have really, what they did was they made the qualifications to get your appraisal license a lot harder. So again, you have to be trained by an appraiser. You have to be licensed. You need a four-year college degree. There's quite a bit that well, goes into being an appraisal now. No longer can you send an apprentice out there to get, uh, you know, to get up their hours and everything like that. An actual appraiser has to go out and do the inspection, walk around the house, take the measurements check everything uh it's it's a lot harder but it's making appraisers more accountable but with that you know appraisers are a lot more conservative now and appraisers are real appraisals are really subjective i mean if you hire five different appraisals appraisers to go appraise the same property you're gonna get five different values absolutely should it be that way absolutely not but it is that way because they are subjective. And uh, there are guidelines, but just like in anything else, guidelines are just guidelines. They're not absolute. So that's why you get different values. I, I totally agree that you know, there should be more, more accountable. And I'm 100% on the same page with you. I guess my, my only contention with, with the accountability aspect of that is that if appraiser gets whatever written up or whatever, however they get, there's a complaint against them, bringing a house in too high, why isn't there a, 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 the, the flip side of that? If, if yeah. the house were $300,000 and they bring it in at three sixty. dollars like, hey, man, you're way out of line. You're twenty percent over what the what the market is. Because what if, it, what if the, what, hold on, time, I mean, yeah. what if it comes in at two forty? Shouldn't okay. there be ramifications for saying, dude, you suck at your job? No, see, so what happens is, and, no, and, you stink. And, excuse me, I shouldn't say. We and, can't and, say no, it. You, yeah, can't, exactly. that you don't. We don't use the S word on the radio anymore. Here, here's the thing, though. What happens is, Alex, is that if somebody brings in an appraisal too high, and then a bank or a lender lends on that right, high I, appraisal, I understand. and then the borrower defaults, now the appraiser can be liable for that. Okay? Right. Well, it used to be just the lender and just the borrower were liable. Right. Now, the appraiser. So a lender can go back on an appraiser and say, hey, 
What'd you do this to us for? So if they bring it in low, A, what are the chances somebody's going to default on a low appraisal? They're, they're just, they might not get the house. They might not want to buy the house. Right. So the chances are a lot greater that somebody's going to default if somebody brings it in too high and they take too much cash out and thus using up all the equity. And therefore, there's no incentive to make the payment. I remember, understand. You remember what happened, right? Sure. No, people, so, they're bringing but this you is know, why, way too high. They're bringing the equity out. I understand why they're gun shy, but I'd like to be able to work with them one on one and talk about it. That would it. be nice. I'd yes. like to talk about it. Well, definitely. As regulations increase, the complexity of the work has increased, the number of appraisers has declined. Keep it here on 971. Tons of mortgage talk. Did you know there's more than one Las Vegas? There's the Strip with families on vacation and questionable odds. Then there's Downtown Vegas, the original gambling and entertainment mecca. That's where you'll find the D Las Vegas. Book your stay today at the D.com. The D Las Vegas, your home for Detroit sports in Vegas. Hi, Harry Glantz for Capital Mortgage Funding. Rates are at historic lows, so what are you waiting for? Call 1-800-LOW-RATE and let our award-winning staff help you save money. Look, if you're looking to purchase a new home, refinance your existing home, and you want to save money, call 1-800-LOW-RATE and take advantage of these historic low rates. That's Capital Mortgage Funding, 1-800-LOW-RATE, the best mortgage banker. What are you waiting for? Call 1-800-LOW-RATE. Capital Mortgage Funding is powered by Fairway Independent Mortgage Corporation, NMLS ID number 2289, equal housing lender. Hello, human. This is a Mountain Dew ad, and we're about to crank things up in this booth. For starters, I don't like my voice. Let's change it. You, get in here. All right. Somebody, hand me some maracas. That's it. Do God, drop a beat. How's this? HR department, start chanting. I just got gooses. Keep it going. Lady in the corner, what do you do? Terrifying. I love it. Wizard, summon a storm. Toss in a bucket of snakes. It's like a freaky spa here. Jim, smack yourself with a fish. <laughs> it's the most beautiful sound that has ever been. Mm. If you've got a mouth and a brain, crack open a Mountain Dew and reward your gullet with that old citrus kick. Until next time, do the do. Unleash a refreshing citrus kick with Mountain Dew. Visit a store near you and pick up all your favorite Mountain Dew products. Mountain Dew exhilarates and quenches with its one-of-a-kind great taste. Mountain Dew. Do the do. This is where professors become mentors, where careers become callings, where 130 doctorate, master's, and graduate degrees become opportunities. Are you ready? Attend Oakland University's Graduate Open House Wednesday, October 19th, and learn about the master's, doctorate, and certificate programs at OU. Conduct life-changing research, discover the unknown, publish a paper, propel your learning potential, and gain the skills to become true experts in your field. There are countless advantages to receiving a graduate education at OU, including great new career possibilities and higher pay. Helpful staff will be available to provide information on admission, financial aid, and payment options. This is your opportunity at a world-class degree. So reserve a spot today at OU's Graduate Open House, Wednesday, October 19th from 5 to 7 p.m. This is OU, where the aspiring can rise. Visit oakland.edu slash grad. That's oakland.edu slash grad. Get to ABC Warehouse and save up to 65% on appliances, HDTVs, mattresses, furniture, and more. There are doorbuster deals in every department. Right now, a Sony XBR 4K Ultra HD 65-inch Smart TV is only $1,198. That's over $1,000 in savings. And this week, all freezers are priced to move, starting at just $117 after rebate. See the entire sale ad at abcwarehouse.com. The deals are always in the house. ABC Warehouse, the closest thing to wholesale. This is Mark Z at Keller Williams. I don't just guarantee to sell your home in the spring and summer. I guarantee to sell your home in the fall and winter as well. We agree to a price and a deadline. And if that deadline passes and your home isn't sold, I'll step in and buy it myself. And at any time, if you're not happy, you can fire me. But you won't. Call me today or go to soldbymarkz.com and start packing. Get the speed. Welcome to Staples. Staples guy, I have to move fast in business. Gotta go, go, go. Well, then you need to see the all-new redesigned HP OfficeJet Pro printers. Are they fast? They're lightning fast and deliver two-sided prints, which saves you time and money. You can even print from your smartphone. Sounds perfect. And now at Staples, you can save up to $100 on one. Fast, efficient, and I save money so I can relax. I can see the tension melting. Yep, gotta go. Away. Now save up to $100 on a fast new HP OfficeJet Pro and save every day on ink and toner. Staples, make more happen. For limited time, see store staples.com for details. Restrictions may apply. Thank you. 
Jared introduces a diamond that's as unique as the woman you'll love forever. It's called Chosen by Jared. A diamond that has a one-of-a-kind story only Jared can tell. With a book of photographs that documents your diamond's journey. Every GIA certified Chosen diamond is hand-selected, cut, and polished by Jared experts. Never leaving our hands until it gets to hers. The one diamond that could only be for her and only come from you. That's why he went to Jared. Text the ticket anytime, 24-7 at 97136. The Galliana's Van Dyke Dodge Ticket Text. Don't overpay. Get into Galliana's Van Dyke Dodge today. Michigan Wolverines head coach Jim Harbaugh talks to Jamie and Stoney every Thursday morning at 8.15 on 97.1 The Ticket. Welcome back to the show. We got tons of energy and tons of savings for you. All you got to do is give us a call. Call us here on the show, 248-539-9797. Yeah, you definitely want to get that refinance done, debt consolidation. A lot of families out there have first and second mortgages. Now's not a bad time to add those two loans together. We talked about also refinancing to remove the PMI. Had you bought a house in the last four or five years, definitely want to take a look at it. Home values did go up dramatically. Also, we have lots of great programs, lender paid PMI programs, uh, different ways that you can save money and get yourself really set up for your life. Well, PMI is not a deduction on your federal tax return. It is not. Mortgage interest still is, which is a good thing for us. Even if your rate is high and even if you don't have 20% equity, you could roll in the PMI to a slightly higher rate, but not pay a separate PMI payment in your payment, and therefore you can have it as mortgage interest, uh, mortgage interest deduction. Yeah, lots of ways to save money. And again, if you want to make a call to your CPA and check it out, there's a lot of things you can do. Also, a little heads up to self-employed borrowers. Get yourself set up. There's a lot of uh, things out there that families can do. If you're a self-employed borrower, a couple of tips we want to throw out there is, you know, it's, it's just really just as easy as a wage earner if you're a W-2 employee, but it's all about your deductions and what you show the IRS you're going to make at the end of the year. So sit down with your CPA if you're thinking about buying a house, if you're self-employed over the last uh, one or two years, take a look and see what your numbers are so that you can qualify for that mortgage. Well, that you I, might I, want. I think what's funny is people premise the conversation about getting a mortgage with, you know, I can't get a mortgage because I'm self-employed. No, you can't get a mortgage because you don't pay taxes. That's 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 the difference because you know you you make two hundred grand a year, but you show three thousand. Yeah. <laughs> that tax ends up being the problem. That's, being self-employed is not eliminate you from getting a mortgage. Boy, paying taxes <laughs> in the news a lot lately, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, it's going to be I mean, seventy-five you, today. You I'm super happy. Claim, you can't say you make a lot of money and take a lot of deductions. Then on the bottom line of your tax returns on page one, where it says the AGI adjusted gross income, you're not showing anything there. That's what you get qualified on. Correct. That's, that's really how, I mean, that's how underwriters, that's how mortgage people, that's how banks take a look at what you can pay back. The fact that you run everything through your business and take all the deductions, okay, that's good for your quality of life. And I'm not saying you shouldn't do that. Go ahead and do it. But when it comes to showing a bank or a mortgage banker your income, that's the number. That's okay? what we, we, and like we that's have the to number. look at that. Right. And, and, go ahead, buddy. I'm, no, I'm just happy that a lot of families out there have decided, and a lot of guys out there and wives and whoever have started some great businesses here, a lot of small businesses. And, you know, just it's really important that you just get organized with it. And I think it, it really requires a financial planner, your CPA, even mortgage people, professionals to sit down, go over everything, see how your credit report shows up. A lot of the self-employed families that we're working with, they sort of have their business and personal stuff all sort of combined all right. on their credit and, report, and cars you know, and visas. You know there's some people out there, they're driving their car, they almost drove off the road. There are other mortgage people listening. Going, well, that's not true. You can add back depreciation. Oh, yeah. Someone can do this. Sure. Okay. Yeah, you got it. We know that. Okay. But the bottom line is it still might not be enough that you can qualify. We'll take a look at it. We'll do everything we possibly can. There's some guy go right there. That guy's an idiot. Well, he, he said he can say, add back here's depreciation. The thing. We, we come on the show. We have fun. And we joke around. I'm not going to come on the air and read guidelines right. about how to qualify a self-employed borrower. That's, we'll do that. We'll boring. do that one-on-one with somebody. Yeah, that's right. It's not good radio. Me. I'm happy right? to do it with you. I'm just telling you that from the, for the right. sake of this conversation, you, you got to go off the AGI. That's right. You know, it's funny. What it, I, I got a letter in the mail the other day from uh, one of the conglomerate lenders that uh, you know it's like a mortgage. It's publicly recorded, so anybody can pull. You know, pull. You know, which is your prime residence, which ones your rental properties, all that. So I get I get this letter in the mail, and I'm like, oh, I'm, I, I've got this. And of course, I, I today I put it on the counter. I put my keys, my water bottle, my wallet on top of the letter that I wanted to bring to the show. Left, 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 it. Left, left it there. Well, but, it's, it's like kryptonite too. Yeah, well, you yeah, don't yeah, like it. yeah I you didn't don't like it. it. But so so Natalie sent me a picture. Took a picture. Sent it to me. Basically, in a nutshell, the mortgage industry can't get out of its own way again. It's the same old BS about 
you know, 2.875 30-year mortgage. Not 30-year fixed, 30-year mortgage. Yeah, it's right. a 30-year. It's going to adjust from 2.875 to, to 10 <laughs> in, in two years. But it's a 30-year mortgage. And so I'm looking at, I go through all the costs on the back. I mean, there's, here, if there's an ad on the front on the front side of the piece of paper and the back is filled with small print you can barely read, it's probably not a good ad. If, if there's that many disclaimers and disclosures on there, it's probably not a good thing. But, you know, 1.875% in points up front, you know, a 60% loan to value. I mean, it was, it was, just, it was just such a joke. And what, what's unfortunate is somebody, they're going to get business from that flyer. Someone's going to call do. and get hammered on that. And it's really unfortunate. We're still shaking our heads that, again, like you said, sometimes people can't get it out of their own way. But we want to definitely say, look out out there. Um, there's been a lot of scammers out there. And whether different industries, even the news has been reporting. They're back. It, they're all back. Yeah. I mean, people showing up to your house and uh, offering you stuff. Just be very careful. This is a you know consumer advocate show. You can always run it by us. Give us a right. phone call. Call and, somebody you know. Call somebody you trust. Don't respond to a a mass mailer that says rates are at 2.875. Yeah, you know what's interesting is that uh, I did a deal the other day. There's three components you know, when you're do, doing a purchase, right? You have the title company, you have the mortgage company, and you have your realtor. And uh, we, I did a deal with someone who owned a title company paying cash. And when you pay cash, you don't have on one side of the title company. You, you only have one side, right? Uh, they got charged three hundred dollar uh, an extra two hundred dollar administration fee and then another uh, one hundred and fifty dollar fee that was never which should never have been on there so those are costs that are not standard that now we're seeing title companies add add them on to uh, real estate companies do it as well so sometimes up to five hundred dollars yeah, yeah, thank you for bringing that up oh we've the um, eight ninety five <laughs> the compliance fee yeah. what, what is that what is I, that is it, that, it's a five hundred dollar you're using my conference room fee uh, essentially I don't really know what it is but in, right. our, in our purchase agreement they leave it blank right and you can put a number in there. Now, it, it does it, is it to move paperwork around? I don't know. But this is the first time I heard a title company do it because I told all, everyone that, hey, title, title costs are pretty standard. This yes. is, and this is a guy who owns a title company. And I, he said, hey, I'll just use them. They're fine. And then we get that, these extra costs on top of it. So, you know, it's just people keep adding on stuff for, and they're not really doing anything to earn it. Well, you got a lot of local lenders here in Michigan, of course. We want you to call Capital Mortgage Funding at 1-800-LOW-RATE, the best mortgage banker. Definitely deal with real professionals. We can go over everything for you. And, you know, why not keep the business here in your own backyard? Uh, it'll only help your home appreciate. Uh, it helps the whole economy here in southeast Michigan. And, and boy, have we turned the corner. Well, but, uh, nobody, but nobody knows the area as well as somebody that lives and works in the area, okay, that does business in the area. So it, it's kind of like when we hire appraisers, I want appraisers that do appraisals in the county that they live in so they're familiar with it and most of the time i like them if they're in the immediate area if, if they live in if they live in berkeley then we're, they're getting our berkeley and royal oak appraisals okay right, right. They, they just know the area better they know on robina this house sold for x amount of dollars when now you can look all that kind of stuff up but every house is different and every block is different in certain areas i mean if you go north of certain streets or east of woodward west of woodward there are certain areas that you know people need to know an appraiser you know no offense, please don't take any offense to this, but a Fraser from Warren doesn't know what's going on in, in Huntington Woods. It just can't, it doesn't happen that way. Yeah, and, and a realtor, too, will know where there's wet spots in basements, right. you know, and, in and Berkeley. They, and they, so know, they know that, know that in Berkeley hey, and Huntington Woods, there was the rain, there was the flood. If you don't have I a beach dry system, you're not buying that house. I right? wouldn't send a Washtenaw County appraiser to, no. to Wayne, to, uh, to the east side. I wouldn't send them to Clinton Township. Why would I do that? <laughs> we see that all the time where they get an appraisal and it's it's half the value of what it could be. I had an old old man that lived across the street from me. They told me he got 50000 for his house. You try, to be, you try to be consumer friendly. So when we get an appraisal back, and by law, we have to send that a copy of the appraisal to the consumer. Correct. If I'm a consumer, which I am, I'm looking at every single word. And since I don't know the industry because I'm an average consumer... That's looking at that appraisal. I'm going to question everything that's on there. Now, it might be material or immaterial, but since I don't know it, I'm going to question it. The first thing they're going to question is, what would you send a guy from Clinton Township to my house in Heartland? Okay, yeah. Why would you do that? What is wrong with you? What if he grew up in that city? Okay. Well, <laughs> so, okay. Right then guess what? Then the guy's not asking that because yeah, he, he, he talked to the he, homeowner. Here's the thing, though, man. Okay. We don't need, we don't, you can't choose the appraisal appraiser anymore. So it goes to the appraisal management company, and they're the ones that's, that's that's responsible for getting the right appraiser. But you have a panel. And if, right. you're, if you're a smart company like we did, we said, listen, here are the zip codes, Okay. And we, we break it down, and you can do that. You can't choose them, but you can help out the AMC and say, hey, listen, here's the deal. That is correct, Alex. You cannot shop appraisers or appraisals. 
I love when people email you and complain about about someone, you know, one of your employees. I was going to say me. Oh, shocking. Oh, they, well, no, they're saying, like, Alex Nafusi brought my house in $100,000 less than what it's yeah, worth. Yeah, right. Your guy brought it in less. Yeah. Money. We want, because, we want it because, to... because I want to make less money. But, right. but your listing agent can help out, though. You know what we do? We take the lock box off the house as soon as the inspection's done, right? That means that it's an appointment only. I'm sorry, we have to meet you, Mr. Appraiser, and let you in with the key. That gives us an opportunity to talk to him, pick his brain, and then you have to you have to size him up real quick. Does right. he not want to be bothered, or does he want to be bothered? I, I like that, Dan. That's pretty solid stuff. Well, yeah. but, Dan, but Dan's been part of this panel. We have a lot of other realtors that are part of the panel, too. They all say they meet the appraiser out at the property. They all do. All right, we got open lines. We want to hear from you. 248-539-9797. We'll be right back. Afternoon. Mike Lenny, join us Monday. Rieger in the saddle. And guess what? Football, 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 and more football. Mike Valenti and Terry Foster. Afternoon. 97.1. The Ticket. Davenport University's hassle-free transfer and application process is a refreshing difference. They make sure everything's taken care of, from classes to financial aid, everything. They transferred over a majority of my credits. It did save me a tremendous amount of time, and I did everything I had to do in one day. Davenport advisors are there to help students right from the beginning. I applied online, and an admissions rep called me and was like, come down, let me give you a tour of the campus. It was a really smooth transition. I was able to get a transfer scholarship that helped me and ultimately make my decision on which university I wanted to attend. I'm really happy that I chose Davenport University. For an easier way to start your new future in business, technology, or health, go to Davenport University and get where the world is going. It's not too late to join our second fall class session beginning November 2nd. Call 855-DAVENPORT or visit davenport.edu. If you are a man facing divorce in the Southfield area, you now have access to the services of the domestic litigation firm Cordell & Cordell. The firm's lawyers help protect and promote men's family and financial interests before, during, and after divorce. Men have chosen Cordell & Cordell because they want to feel that their interests and the interests of their children are aggressively championed. Now, with an office in Southfield, Cordell & Cordell is able to help even more men protect their roles in their children's lives while safeguarding their financial means to do so. If you're a man confronted with a marriage you can't save, you should consider Cordell & Cordell, a partner men can count on. Contact the domestic litigation firm of Cordell & Cordell to schedule an appointment with one of our firm's Michigan attorneys, a partner men can count on. 313-465-1999. That's 313-465-1999. Online at CordellCordell.com. That's CordellCordell.com. Offices in Troy, Ann Arbor, and Southfield. Geico presents a voicemail from your friend, Electricity. Hey, it's me, Electricity. So I'll keep this short. <laughs> Get it? Never mind. Anyway, I just want to make sure you're not, like, still mad at me about that electrical fire in your kitchen. I mean, obviously you're not, but I'm just checking to make sure. It's no big deal if you are. It's not like you're asking me to pay for the damage. <laughs> right? Electricity won't pay for an electrical fire. Luckily, the GEICO Insurance Agency makes getting coverage a snap. Visit GEICO.com to see how affordable renter's insurance can be. The holidays are around the corner, and so is your best chance at saving on a new door to welcome your guests. The Home Depot has 15% off select special order exterior and interior doors, including front doors, closet doors, storm doors, and even barn doors. You get style, quality, and savings. This is how you enter the holidays with 15% off select special order doors. Only from the Home Depot. More saving, more doing. Now through October 19th. See store for details. Last week, your company did team building exercises. Too bad some people didn't understand that when you do trust falls, you're supposed to fall backwards. Now, four of your salespeople have chipped teeth, and your IT guy hasn't smiled in days. Time for Delta Dental. We provide access to the largest networks of contracted dentists in Michigan, so your employees can get the preventive dental care they need to keep their smiles healthy and emergency care when needed. Delta Dental. We do dental better. 
visit DeltaDentalMI.com. Opportunity is knocking Detroit at Goodman Manufacturing. Goodman is building a massive HVAC manufacturing campus near Houston, Texas. We're looking for skilled HVAC engineering professionals to join a winning team in our new state-of-the-art facility. Production engineers, controls engineers, tooling engineers, and more can find advancement opportunities. Plus, competitive wages and benefits at Goodman, a member of the Dyking Group. Find opportunity knocking. Visit careers at Goodman.com. That's careers at Goodman.com. It's a great time to call Detroit home. I'm Dylan Larkin, Red Wing and Detroit native. You know another great Detroit native? Chevrolet. And in honor of our hometown, Chevrolet is offering tickets to see the team take the ice at an upcoming home game. Chevrolet, the official vehicle of the Detroit Red Wings. Gander Mountain knows firearms and how to save you money. Check out America's largest firearm selection today at Gander Mountain, America's firearms supercenter. Sports news all day, every day. This is 97.1 The Ticket. Brought to you by Capriati Sandwich Shop. Blue Jays fall to the Indians 2 to nothing in Game 1 of the ALCS. Game 2 today at 4. Game 1 of the NLCS is tonight at 8. Dodgers visiting the Cubs. Michigan is off today. Michigan State is not. They host Northwestern at 3.30. Top 25 college football last night. Number 7, Louisville, 24-14 over Duke. Cardinals go to 5-1. Rebbings on the road in Florida tonight against the Panthers. Wins 0-1-0. The Panthers won their opener. Here, right here on 97 on the ticket at 7 p.m. Pistons Exhibition Basketball visiting Philadelphia. Lions and Rams tomorrow at Ford Field. No Theo Riddick, no Eric Ebram, no DeAndre Levy, and no Haloti Nada. Also, right guard Larry Warford did not practice Thursday or Friday. At Ticket Update Desk, I'm Jeff Lesson. For more, 971theticket.com. The National Football League. One more reason when you think of sports, you think of Detroit's number one sports station. 97 Welcome back to the show. It's the Hardcore Mortgage Show brought to you by Capital Mortgage Funding. Give us a call all day long, all weekend long. 1-800-LOW-RATE. It's the best mortgage banker. Always live on the ticket here. 248-539-9797. A couple quick reminders. The United States Department of Agriculture, the Rural Development Loans, they dropped their upfront fee to 1%. Also, PIWs are back in play. If you got a really strong transaction going on, you might be able to avoid an appraisal if Do you have a very good PIWs. Are? I, I don't oh, know what PIWs, PIWs are. Yeah, we won't even get into it then. How about yeah. this? Today's October 15th here. You know what that means. It is. Tax extensions are no longer allowed. So definitely get your tax returns done. Um, if you want to refinance or purchase, you have to have those tax returns done. And once you submit them to the IRS, it takes them about four weeks or so to process them. So definitely if you haven't finished your uh, 2015 tax returns, get those done. Also, refinancing. Uh, the HARP loans have been extended to September 30th of two, 2017. There's not too many of you out there, but if you do have a first and a second mortgage, you might qualify for a HARP loan, and it might be an easier path for you to get a mortgage done. Be sure to call Capital Mortgage at 1-800-LOW-RATE, and you'll get it taken care of. Let's move out to Eric in Ann Arbor. Eric, you got a call about a refinance. Good morning. Welcome to the show. Yeah, well, you know, last year I thought rates were going to go up, so I, I did a refinance. Uh, it was 3.99% on a 30-year mortgage. And now I guess I'm hearing the rates are at their almost all-time low, and I'm just not sure if it makes sense to do it again. You're kind of in, like, that middle-of-the-road territory. I mean, 3.99 is a great rate. A rates have, rate. They've burped up a little bit over the last few weeks. you got to look at how much you paid in costs and the amount of time it's going to take you to recover your costs. So if your costs are, just for the sake of round numbers, $2,000, it's going to take you 20 months to break even from doing the refinance. And so that's how I break it down for all my clients. Buddy, if you're going to stay in the house for a long time, it might be worth it. Right. So you have to figure in your time factor. Eric, what's your loan balance? Uh, it's about 400 That's a nice loan balance. I, I was wondering if you'd even take a look at a 20-year. You know, here you are, maybe a 20-year mortgage with the lower interest rates that are out there. Probably get you an interest rate down in the low threes. That might be something to look at. Knock some years off that and really pay off that principal balance. That might, might be something to look at. How long do you think you're going to be in the house, Eric? Well, I mean, my plan is uh, indefinitely. Yeah. Okay, that's I'm good. I'm moving. And what's the value? Oh. The value, uh, well, we're arguing with the assessors, but it's around uh, 700 Okay. Well, if you're going to stay there, I think Alex and Harvey can do the math for you. You'll decide if it works out. But uh, it sounds like a good opportunity to get down into the low threes. 
to, to lower the term. And remember, the idea of taking out a mortgage, if you're going to be there for a long time, is to pay as much down on the principal as you possibly can. Eric, I, I like how you threw that out there. You had a little fight with an assessor. So we all, yeah, want, so our we house, do that. We all want our house to be worth a lot of money. But we don't want to pay any tax on it. we're not paying any tax on it. So are you trying to tell the assessor that it's worth less money? Well, I mean, they. I, we think they overassessed it. The, the, the tax, the whatever, the county assessed. It. I think they overassessed it because our our appraisal for the mortgage when we bought it came in at a certain level. And, right. And doing the comps, I mean, the houses uh, around us are not uh, getting assessed as high, uh-huh. and they're all relatively comparable houses. So. I think we, we, we're, we're sort of fighting it. Actually, we're going to take it to the Mich- Michigan Tax Tribunal. Okay. Uh, I think you should do that. So, I, I mean, it, you know, one. I don't expect a huge difference, but it's just, you know, obviously they're starting at a certain level. It's much higher than it was appraised for. So, I'm, I'm right. That. So, are you using an appraisal from a year ago, or did you get a brand new appraisal? Are you just sending in comps, and did you have a realtor do kind of like a... No, we're a, using the appraisal from uh, a year ago, basically. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I might want to suggest... You might want a new one. Yeah, you might want to, if you don't get a new appraisal, at least come in with some uh, new data, perhaps. Again, um, you know, values probably went up in Ann Arbor the last year, so I don't know if that's yeah. going to benefit you. But uh, it's definitely Yeah, worth- well, this is actually outside of Ann Arbor, so okay. Okay. I, I don't think, I think the values are pretty stable. So the people that had the house before us, I mean, it took them a while to sell the house. It's not... Right. It's a nice house, but it's sort of in the outskirts. It's not. Okay. Uh, like no, a, I understand. Not in Ann Arbor. Yeah, so. I would do it. Eric. I would do an, do an updated appraisal. See what it comes in at, and uh, and go from there, man. But uh, I'll call after the show and run some numbers for you. And see about doing that refinance, okay. and if you save me some yeah. money, we'll do it. All right. Awesome. Great. Thanks, Eric. Thanks, Eric. Right. Yeah, hey, if nice he does call. a refinance money, can he save money? He can use the appraisal that will be for, uh, featuring I, I, I've never heard, read, seen anything about a gov- government entity that wants to collect less taxes. Oh, no, no, they going, taxes. Which is why, right. you know, they're going to overassess the house and say, hey, if they, right. you guys want to challenge me, challenge right. me. If not, we'll keep taking your money. Let's move out to Todd in uh, Clay Township. Good morning, Todd. Welcome to our show. Hi, right, thank you. Good morning, morning, sir. Todd. All right, so what I was curious about is I, I'm in a new sub out in uh, Town Clay Township, and being the first house, I got the I got the biggest lot. I got the one acre lot. The rest are all half acre, and um, I'm the biggest house too. Um, but I, I bought the house. Um, I had to buy an FHA because it was an old short sale I had done. Okay. And um, I get to refinance here in about a year or so. And what I'm curious about is um, I built at about 108 a square foot on that house, and the other ones that are going in are going in about 125 to 130 a square foot. Will those, be, will those be considered comps when I go to refinance, or will they have to find other houses that are the same size as mine when it comes time to refinance and get the appraisal and well, such? How much bigger is your house than their house? My, mine's about 2,400 finished. Um, there's going to be between 16 to 18. Man, so okay, and, what are they, and what are they selling 50% for? 50% bigger. What, yeah, what are they selling for? <laughs> Um, they're selling for uh, the like the the let's say the low like two and a quarter to two to two forty. And what and do you I think? Like two, and what do you think? Half. What do you think? Or what do you want your house to appraise for? Well, I want to appraise for enough to get rid of uh, get rid of my PMI when I get on my FHA loan. Is what I'm really hoping well, to do. Right, right, so what's you know? your balance on that? Um, well, I, I just signed it this year, so you know I signed it at two fifty. So I'm sure it's okay. going to be, you know, around that neighborhood right now. You know. Yeah. So you need a three hundred thousand dollar appraisal. You need a three hundred thousand dollar appraisal. Yeah, so you need a three hundred thousand dollar appraisal, and if the houses in your area are selling for two thirty, two forty, I know they're smaller. Then you're gonna have to go outside the area. I'd have to take a look. You know, we'd have to take a look at that. I, I don't think that the houses, just because they're close to you in proximity, that they're comparable to your house, and you don't want to use okay. those anyways because they're smaller. Right. I wasn't sure if the uh, the square footage price makes a difference being nah, the same size. No, the, not the, a how, bit. No, because then they're going to take a, a, a gross adjustment. I don't mean gross as in sick. I mean gross as in high, you know a, a, a higher quantity. A, quantity. Yeah, higher. Yeah. So uh, I tell you this: that the only way you're going to find out is if we order an appraisal. But there could be a chance that you could waive that. MI. or get out of that FHA loan, Alex. Well, well, here's here's where I'm going. That yeah, too, Todd. You don't even need an appraisal to be that high. You can do lender paid mortgage insurance for maybe a quarter point more in interest rate, and you're still going to drop the, your uh, your MIP. And the MIP is expensive on an FHA loan. Yes, yeah, so, I mean if it's worth you know if, if you owe two fifty on it, is that what you said, Todd? Yeah. Okay, so yeah. I mean you can if it comes in at, at, at two seventy, I mean I can make something work for you. I mean, it's, you know, oh, okay. don't don't focus too much on the appraisal because there's other options. You don't necessarily need the twenty percent equity to drop the PMI mm-hmm. right, or the MIP. Yeah. And then again, does he qualify for now a conventional loan it's four years after that short sale? Right. Do you qualify for that now, Todd? Yeah, I, I will next year. Okay. okay. Well, yeah, let, let's do this. I mean, I'll call after the show, get your email address, put you in a database. We'll keep in touch and we'll, we'll do something next year, man. I mean, it's not, it's, it's, okay. yeah, it's not a big deal. Okay. Awesome. Good. Thanks, man.
So you did. All righty. And you got, go ahead. Just, just with, with, with that, with the housing issue like that, I mean, you know, building a house that, that's 50% bigger than everything else around you, you got to be careful with that. I mean, it's, it's like, I mean, it's like being the best kid on junior varsity. Like, you don't want to, like, I mean, if, you know, if every house is 1,500 square feet and you have one that's 3,000 square feet, you have yeah, nowhere to go. Nowhere to, what are you going to do? Yeah, that's, right. they say it's one of the first rules of real estate. Don't, don't worry, all that kids. That's the best kid on JV. Was <laughs> uh, that you? Now. Is that you? Come on now. <laughs> Tell me a little talk about inventory. The Fed warns a new housing that right crisis. JV? I don't know. Okay. He wouldn't bring it up, huh? That's good. Can we go back to the? We'll go back to the inventory. Top Fed warns of a new housing crisis. Do you crisis. know Harvey Free was a great high school baseball player? Oh, thank you. Did Did you, you know know he tells me all the time. No, he was. 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 IHOP's fall menu is better than ever. In addition to fall favorites like pumpkin spice pancakes, we have new apple ring pancakes made with crisp gala apples. I told you it's better than ever, so get into an IHOP and eat up every moment. Limited time at participating restaurants. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. The next time you need auto parts and accessories, trust the parts professionals at the 77 Detroit area O'Reilly Auto Parts stores. Our professional parts people know what it takes to get the job done right. Professionals have counted on O'Reilly Auto Parts for decades. Now you can too. Professional parts people. It's all part of our service commitment to you, our customers. Come see for yourself at your local Detroit area O'Reilly Auto Parts store. Make your vehicle shine with great deals on select Turtle Wax products at your local O'Reilly Auto Parts store. For a limited time, Pick up Turtle Wax Carnuba Cleaner Wax or Wax and Dry Spray Wax for $4.99 each. Clean, shine, and protect your vehicle with Turtle Wax Carnuba Cleaner Wax or Wax and Dry Spray Wax for $4.99 each at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Better parts, better prices every day. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. Think you're fat? You might just be bloated. Find out by calling now for a free trial of New Biotics, the new breakthrough that flattens bloated bellies fast. For a free trial, call 1-800-400-9189. Strict limit of one per household. I used to be plagued by pot belly and constant bloating. After taking New Biotics, my belly flattened and continues to get flatter. My sense of bloating and discomfort is gone. If you've got a big belly, you might not be fat. You might just be bloated. New Biotics is scientifically formulated with natural ingredients to flatten bloated bellies fast by cleansing pounds of rotting food and toxic sludge from your body. It even combats periodic heartburn and acid reflux. If your belly flattening results are too dramatic, simply reduce use to every other day. Think you might be bloated? See how much flatter New Biotics makes your belly. But hurry, call now for details while we're still giving it away for free. 1-800-400-9189. That's 1-800-400-9189. 1-800-400-9189. If you have sleep apnea, a CPAP system can be a lifesaver, but not if it's making you sick. I've been using a CPAP for six years, and every year I would get upper respiratory infections. <laughs> Last year I was very sick over and over again for a total of five months, coughing, sneezing, feeling terrible. A dirty CPAP can make you sick, but now SoClean.com has released the world's first and only automated CPAP cleaner and sanitizer. For a limited time, you can try it risk-free for 30 days. Just call 1-800-600-1735. Out of desperation, I searched the internet and found this amazing and wonderful product. I've been using the SoClean machine for eight months now and have not had <laughs> a single infection. SoClean kills 99.9% .9 of all CPAP germs in minutes, and it's completely hands-free. Don't wait. You owe it to your health to call for your risk-free trial right now. Call 1-800-600-1735. 1-800-600-1735. Right now is a great time to team up with 97 Won the Ticket's Student Art Check Program. Your donation could turn into thousands of extra dollars by helping Children's Miracle Network and Student Art Check win the Give Detroit Challenge. Go to cbsdetroit.com slash student heart check and click the Give Detroit Challenge link. This week, every charity that raises at least $250 online will be entered to win $500. Winning the Give Detroit Challenge could mean a $20,000 donation to Children's Miracle Network and Student Heart Check. 
It's Detroit's official tailgate party, and you're invited. Game day, uncensored. Tomorrow, broadcasting from the patio at Hockey Town Cafe on Woodward. Pat Caputo and Calvin Pritchett start the broadcast at 9. Then at 11, game day uncensored with Mike Valenti. The first 97 people get a game day uncensored t-shirt. The ticket chicks will be on their ATV hitting tailgate parties throughout the D. Game day uncensored tomorrow at Hockey Town Cafe. Game Day Uncensored broadcasts from Hockey Town Cafe before every Lions home game. Pat Caputo and Kelvin Pritchett preview all the day's important matchups. Mike Valenti takes you up to game time with unbridled opinions and the truth behind the storyline. Don't just listen to Game Day Uncensored, be part of it. Live from Hockey Town Cafe. Tomorrow from 9 to 1 on 97.1 The Ticket. Didn't even know we were back. 946. Thanks for coming back with us. 248-539-9797. Sorry about that, guys. Behind the board there. Doing a great job. Hey, give us a call. It's a hardcore mortgage, mortgage show. <laughs> What's that? I like when this mic's on before. You know, today's <laughs> one of those mornings where we need literally two or three hours. We're talking oh mortgages. God. How some much information stuff. do you have, Harvey? We got tons of stuff written down here. Uh, I'm going to get into uh, documentation to close on loans, but we want to take your calls. 248 248- 539-9797. We will send a quick shout out to Bloomfield High School, the new Blackhawks, 8 0 this year. And of course, uh, Ty Sazinski and his 8 0. They're yeah. going to the playoffs. They did smack around Berkeley a little bit last yeah, night. The it's, okay. it's okay. You no guys will be back next hey, year. We're, we're not known for football. I mean, we in recent years we are, at least when I was there, we were not. But that's okay. You know, if, if your kids are playing local sports, that's the kind of guys we are. Give us a phone call. I mean, save money. We're, we're sports guys who know mortgages and care about people. Stop dealing with strangers. Yeah, but the Wall League Western Warriors. Oh, they're the real deal. Real. They are the real deal. Real deal. All right. Wanted to throw in there the documentation and funds to close. Again, if you're out there trying to purchase a house, get with the real professionals. There's a lot of things you can do to keep your documents clean. We always talk about it. Um, you might have cash in a safe at home. Uh, you got to get that money into the bank. Funds have to be verified. Also, your documentation has to be clean. You can make the process of a mortgage go very, very smooth. We're, we're closing loans in less than 30 days on purchases. If you're a real estate agent, you want to get paid sooner than later, give us a phone call. Even the toughest of transactions we've been working on, when you have professionals involved, we get it done because we know what we're looking at from day one. If you're just dealing with brand new loan officers or companies that went out of business and now they're back. Folks, stay away from that kind of stuff. You're just going to get yourself all tied up. Do yourself a favor. Call Capital 248-569-7283. That's 1-800-LOW-RATE. Uh, make it real easy on yourself. Also, Dan, we always talk about inventory and what's going on in Southeast Michigan. Of course, you work the South, really the, all of Southeast sure, Michigan. We're, we're, we're corridor, but yeah, everything. Yeah, We're seeing that uh, the inventory is low, but there's not as many buyers out there as well. Um, but, you know, the, the, the people that uh, need to sell their house, they're pricing it right. There, there is the right buyer. And you don't have any competition now uh, as much as you did before. So how do you feel this? Alex Nafusi is on record on this show saying that there's going to be a housing bubble. Where do you, how do you feel about that? You know what? I, I, don't, I don't see that. I think the thing... The, the, First of all, you're a realtor. Why would you see that? <laughs> yeah, well, you know. <laughs> hey, I'll be the moderator. Don't interrupt him. Sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. Right. Sorry, Donald. You know, yes. I, well, I'll tell you what. I, I, I believe that we're going to see the prices are stagnating a little bit. But next spring, I think we're going to see it. We're going to see it go up. Up again. So uh, you're on the show right now on October 15th saying yeah. that 2017 is going to be another strong home buying year. Without a doubt. Even though interest rates may go up and, you know, people say interest rates... They will go up. Well, here's the thing. I tell them, hey, look at uh, what your father, Alex. Remember what interest rate he paid? Tell when he bought the, 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 yeah, the yeah. house on Lake Contract in 1980, right? it was, he was right. paying like, 11% and he thought it was stealing. Historically right. low still is a true comment right now, right? It, it is, will be. Yeah, you, they even, if they go, even if they go up a little bit, it'll still be a true comment. They, this is my... Here, I hope I'm wrong. <laughs> I hope values go up and rates go down. I mean, I, I hope that I'm completely wrong and I, I mean, I, I hope Harry's wrong about rates going up. I mean, I want rates to go down and values to go up. I mean, that's what, what we do for a living. I'm just telling you demographically, Southeastern Michigan, if the if the average income is X and the average housing price is Y, you have there's an affordability issue there. Okay, it's just, it's just I, economics. I think, I think what you're going to see right now, and I'm, I'm not kind of at the housing bubble with Alex. That's a bubble's an extreme term right now. But you're going to see prices level out over the winter, and then I'm in a wait-and-see attitude to see what happens in February, March, April. 
Okay, yeah. how's that? Hey. Is that pretty conservative? Is that down right down the middle? Yeah, you're not really going on a limb there, are you? Well, all right. So <laughs> going on a limb. Yeah, I know. I did that on ten. I did that. Gentlemen, I, gentlemen, I'm going to misspoke. Did I say West Bloomfield? I meant the Bloomfield Hills Blackhawks. You know, Blue Bloomfield Hills. Hills. Okay. I want to wake you through. Let's through get happens. back to this. Little, little reminder, ticket texters. We don't really read and know who you are. Give us a call. We're real people. Yeah, we you don't call we us. Can't do the we ticket can't, yeah, we don't but do here. that thing. Let's get back to this. Okay, so now you know this is the fifth year, the fifth year of a very strong market. Right. Nothing more that I like to see is next spring. Houses go crazy again. Housing go, goes crazy again. I think that the, I think prices are going to stay relatively attractive. I don't know that we're going to have a boom, but Alex, I don't think that the bubble's going to burst like we think that it did, like we saw it you're burst. Not, it's not going to be two thousand eight nine right. again. I'm just telling you that you're going to come to a point where just it, it's, there's they can't you can't sell houses for three hundred dollars a square foot the, the, in Royal Oak. The, the difference is people, people are moving into this town now. We're, we're gaining population. I see. You That's know, a very you, valid point. Yeah. So they got to move somewhere, correct? Right? I like that. Well, Dan, we talk about it. You well, talk I'm glad about that the debate is uh, kind of cooled down between you guys. That's nice. Dan, you no, talked we'll about your... Like, my buddy. The parking lot later. <laughs> Dan, you talked about you made an offer in a Birmingham house, and it was your, the only offer. Um, you know, we talk about it is the fall and the wintertime. Um, home prices are about 8.5% less expensive. Of course, not in Florida and Arizona when people go to retire and vacation and buy those properties. But here in the Midwest, uh, we see a little bit of drop in price. Typically, our home prices are up a little bit in June and July when the inventory and the competition is steep. Uh, definitely, where are we headed with that, Dan? Uh, the, the National Association of Realtors predicted that home sales to reach $6 million in 2017, right? Right now we're at a 5.8, uh, looking at 5.8 million for 2016. Yeah, but, but you know, there's pockets that that doesn't happen with. There's mm. like Ferndale, right? They're not not families. You know, there's more uh, people moving in and out, and uh, Royal Oak as well. You have you have more of a. Uh, it's not so dependent on school opens and closes. You have people moving in all the time. So you know, some areas stay hotter than others, and that's why it's important to have someone who knows exactly the market and what it's doing because, you know, we still have. We had an offer the other day. Uh, they gave us above asking with no other offer on the table. Right. <laughs> because well, they were used they to just want it. They, but they just to... want it. Yeah, but why do that? The first thing I ask is, is there any other offers on the table? Then we'll come in five, ten grand light. Okay. Well, See what they you're, say. you're working for your client. Good. No doubt. Good. All right. Tons of information to share with you. Again, give us a phone call, 248-539-9797. Call us at Capital all week long at 1-800-LOW-RATE, the best mortgage banker. Also, check us out on Facebook. Just punch in the Hardcore Mortgage Show. Uh, be a friend of ours. We'd love to have you. We share a lot of great information, including some great news that Freddie Mac just announced October 10th. Doctors and dentists, student loan payments, are in deferment forbearance, may be able to exclude those payments. This is big time news for all you doctors and dentists. That's why you call Capital Mortgage Funding when you're a professional. Uh, of course, there are some guidelines. Borrowers must be uh, working in a medical residency or a fellowship, 720 credit or better. It's a one-unit purchase, your primary residence. This is unbelievable. What this does, it just makes it easier because you don't have to qualify with that student debt. Right, and that student debt is outrageous, obviously. It, it's you know, at the highest of all time right, right now. So a Student lot of, loans are the highest right now they, they've ever been. And and we, that, that seems to be coming up more and more. You didn't yeah. hear about that in the past. So. Yeah. That's going to be the next debacle is a student loan. Bed. Well, that's what they're predicting yeah. right now. Well, I had a couple of interesting stories. I just want to share one really quickly. I had a, a, one of our realtors, Nicole, comes down, was trying to refer a client to me, and they already had two pre-approvals. So I said, Nicole, well, that's great, and let me just see if I can save them some money and help them along the way. Sure enough, when I finally got the transaction two weeks ago, they didn't even qualify. They actually, debt-to-income ratio, over 70%. They had not one. They went to two different banks, had two pieces of paper. And you know what we tell you, folks? Stop the nonsense. It would have, it would have been a disaster. Yeah, but all right, that's we, have the, we have underwriters right at our disposal. We have them right there in our facility. We not only process clothes, fund, but we also underwrite. That's what we do. If you're a brand new real estate agent, there's a lot of you out there, you really need to find out who the professionals are. It's going to build your business and it's going to make you look really good. That's how you're going to get referrals, by referring the top mortgage bankers out in this community. And that's how people are going to have smooth transactions and, and an unbelievable closing. So again, get more professionals in your life. It's one of our themes on the show and you're going to have a really you smooth gotta, process. You, you, said you got to have good people. Yeah, you, yeah, you have the people that know what they're doing. The number one thing is that they work well together with everyone involved in the transaction, right? We're, we're, we're doing a common goal. Yeah. Here, which is trying to get someone to a home. Um, we started off the show, gentlemen. I'll let you jump in right after, Harry. With you sure. know, where, where are the mortgage rates going? You know, you say get it done, and we always want to get that done as soon as possible. Uh, the bond market gradually moved up. Uh, very little turmoil overseas typically drives investors to buy the securities, uh, which pushes the, the bond higher, and of course, rates uh, will follow. So. 
that that's really what's going on out there. Um, things seem to be doing very well in Southeast Michigan. Please take advantage of these really low, low interest rates. It's, it's very doubtful that we'll ever see these times again uh, in the next five to ten years. So take advantage. Well, Janet Yellen, she is uh, our Federal Reserve Chairman. She is definitely going to raise rates pretty soon. The markets are telling her you have to raise rates. It's, the money's free. Okay, what banks are bar- what the banks are borrowing from the Federal Reserve is almost nothing. So the, these things can't stay this way. It's just simple. It, it's a simple fact that you can't have zero percent interest rates. Mm-hmm. And you just can't. Rates aren't going down to zero. They're going to start going up and up and up. I do believe as soon as the election hits, we know who's going to be the president. Yep. One person's going to be better than the yep. market, and one's going to be better for Wall Street. Okay, so you're going to see what happens. Hey, we, we want to thank everyone for calling in today. Uh, Great to want to hear from you. Be sure to call Capital Mortgage Funny at 1 800 Low Rate, the best mortgage bank. And we got Pat Caputo coming up with sports social commentary. For Harry Glenn, Alex Capuzzi, Dan Dabinsky, Skyward Realty, I'm Harvey Freed. We will see you next Saturday. was a paid program. Views expressed on this program are not necessarily those of CBS Radio, its sponsors, or affiliates. Hi, Harry Glanz for Capital Mortgage Funding. Rates are at historic lows, and they're not going down to zero. So what are you waiting for? Call 1-800-LOW-RATE and let our award-winning staff help you save money. If you're looking to purchase a new home, refinance your existing home, and you want to save money, call 1-800-LOW-RATE and take advantage of these historic low rates. That's Capital Mortgage Funding, 1-800-LOW-RATE, the best mortgage banker. What are you waiting for? Call 1-800-LOW-RATE. Capital Mortgage Funding is powered by Fairway Independent Mortgage Corporation, NMLS ID number 2289, Equal House. Lender. Best Ball. Mike Baxter is the right choice to make America laugh again. I represent, you know, truth, justice.